What up, everybody? I am going to be reviewing some of my own gameplay. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to try this. I got my new chair. I got Koto. She's loving this couch. So I just set up a tripod, and we're going to look at some of my gameplay. This screen itself looks so friggin' pretty. I'm like, dude, I got to show this to people. And then I think that this might be the best match of Overwatch I've ever had. Like, seriously, from like a player communication standpoint, chilling, I had fun. And not just because I won. By I, I mean we, the team. I didn't do shit, I just marked targets. Okay. <laughs> Once I realized I could uh, grind on walls backwards, now that's all I do. <laughs> I'm like the Shadow Sonic of Overwatch. Alright, so I don't know this friggin' map at all, but I, I like most things in Overwatch 2, I just follow the team. And usually the tank, I hope the tank knows what they're doing, that could be important. That skin is sick, by the way. I love mechs, so D.Va's mech designs are amazing. Okay, so I kind of like being able to take pot shots, even though, oh my god. I forgot about that. So this friggin' Hanzo <laughs> just walks up in behind us all and kills us. That's fantastic. But look at the, like, shine on the friggin' crossbow, man. Or his, like, bow and arrow. It's friggin' awesome. <sighs> okay. So my team's, like, naturally grouping up, which I totally did not expect. Did not expect that at all. And here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flex where my back is pissing me off and I gotta go do a massage later. Okay, so here I'm like, oh shit, we're losing this crap, right? And <laughs> so in other matches, I would have totally chased after that mercy, but for some reason, oh my god, you want some feet picks? Um, I would have totally chased after that mercy. But for some reason, this time, I was like, no, bro, I'm gonna stay with the team, and I'm glad I did. Ooh, that lumbar support is like a kick in the ass. But in this case, the lower back. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're just chilling. Uh, this Bastion and I are actually defending. Usually, what I do in this game, which gets me killed really fast, is I just run out. I play it like Call of Duty and just run out and get killed. I'm like, bro, I'm support. I'm supposed to hang back. And like this wrecking ball coming back and getting healed at the point just made sense to me. So I'm like, dude, I'm going to stay here. Here's another thing I did differently. So in the past, good, <laughs> good grapple <laughs> wrecking ball. So I also decided, you know what? I'm going to just prioritize pinging enemies. We always assume that, like, what people are seeing on their screen, all the other players are seeing, and that's just, like, not the friggin' case, man. So, um, as you can see, I saved my ult, which I totally usually do not do. I usually blow that shit immediately, and so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, I'm realizing here that I should have kept my friggin' heals on instead of speeding everybody up but we're able to endure. Um, I've learned that in this match in particular and others, like Mercy and Moira, I cannot stand. Like they are my nemesis. I always try to take on the tank for some reason. That's just a terrible idea. Which by the way, look at how beautiful this fucking map is. Like never been here before, but like I love the sunken temple vibes, you know? You. Throwback to WoW. Um, just all the moss and everything, like, I don't know what happened there, <laughs> just gone. But this is another one where usually I would be right there with the wrecking ball, if not in front of him, and I'm like, you know what? That's not my role, dude. My role is to stay back, like we're playing WoW. My role is to stay back and heal the fucking team from the sidelines and, like, call out shit. And I'm very objective-focused when you know, in my professional life and when I'm playing games. Even in Call of Duty, I'm always playing the objective. I'll, like, who cares about my KD? I'll just throw myself on the point. 
And that's how I played Overwatch for like the last 20 hours. And like I played the original in, you know, beta on PlayStation 4. And then I did a couple free weekends. I even bought the game when it was like $20. I still have it shrink wrapped in my office. And I could just never get anyone to play with me. So it was so depressing because I knew every, like, it was one of those things where, like, everyone was so overhyped out of their mind for the game before it came out that I just, I was, like, not about it. I don't know, when things get, like, so overhyped by that, in the past I would be like, oh, that sucks, like, I don't want to buy into this, I'm not, like, a sheeple, you know? But, you know, sometimes what you have to realize is, like, hating popular things isn't cool, and... It's better to have, like, the shared experience with other people. Um, so, if somebody likes something, there's probably a good reason they like it. Um, and if they're not being a dick about it, then maybe you'll like it too. And that's honestly why, while I have, like, a love-hate relationship with the free-to-play model of this and other games, you know, I worked in free-to-play, I worked at MCSoft, okay? Um, I worked at Bandai Namco. I worked at THQ and some other places, like, the the cool thing about free-to-play, other than, like, there's a lot of not cool things about it, even on the dev side. The not cool things on the dev side is trying to figure out how much money you can spend on servers for people that aren't paying to play your game, man. Like, I'm sure you could go talk to Digital Extremes about Warframe and, like, there's a really good, um, there's a really good video about the history of Digital Extremes and Warframe on YouTube by Noflip, and I would highly recommend it. Um, I was interviewing there to work on Wayfinder before uh, things changed recently, and I really loved their process, dude. It was, like, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but watching that video, like, gave me mad respect for them. And, um, you know, I, like, tangentially worked with Airship Syndicate, uh, when I was at THQ, because Darksiders was in my, in my building. So, like, seriously, though, the best thing about free-to-play is people can get in and try it. It's kind of like what Kojima just posted today about shadow-dropping video games. It, like, kind of sucks because you can't fantasize and have this expectation of what's coming out. But it's more like Netflix and YouTube where if you see something, you can play it immediately and find out for yourself if you love it or hate it. Overwatch 2 is the same way now. Get in, play, see if you like it. That's it. That's the video.